Hello, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm back for part three of the jewelry jar on jarring. Now, I've dumped everything out of the jar. I've actually taken the time to pair up all the earrings that were in there, and hopefully we'll get through in our 25 minute time frame. The first piece that uh, I'd like to show from the jar is this lovely new in package uh, cancer awareness pin, breast cancer awareness pin. Um, excellent condition and it's always good for us ladies to remind ourselves get your mammogram. So I'm going to put that off to the side here as a reminder. The next piece is this amazing amazing bracelet. Look at the glitter and the shine on this. Now if we can See, we run around the edge here. I don't see any missing rhinestones. Um, I don't see any on the... So this is very nice. Let's see what this looks like on. I'm not sure I put it on the right way, but that is pretty spectacular. That is a really nice, nice bracelet. I'm not sure if I would wear it off enough to keep it. That is a very nice bracelet. Wow, great stuff in the bottom of this jar. Now, remember earlier I found in one of the uh, sections of this jar, I found this broken bracelet. Well, I found all these broken pieces as well. Unfortunately, not enough. How does this go? This thing goes there. I think this goes down here. Not enough to make a complete bracelet, but um, some interesting pieces to do things with uh, once we get rid of all the sharp edges. Some nice rhinestones. Some nice plastic stones. So, oh well. Into the repurposing pile. Those go. This was an interesting necklace. I thought it was a zipper. Well, it is a zipper. But it's also a necklace. Look at There's this lovely little gold. Uh, little gold. This lovely little glass zipper pull. On the zipper. Pulls right down. It's, so it's a little necklace. It's got a lobster claw clasp. Um, I didn't. I don't think it has a manufacturer. Oh, Vanessa Anow? Or I don't know if that's supposed to be another letter there. Vanessa Anow is the name. Um. This is it closed up, um, but a very nice little short little necklace. An interesting idea. I think the, the pendant deserves uh, something better though. <clears throat> then we had another one of these. This one, uh, the little plastic um, pearls. This one's a little tighter than the first one we found. Um, this is acrylic beads. Very nice variety of beads, some sort of leopard idea, um, some faceted, some smooth, but all acrylic, a nice wearable bracelet. Uh, and there's also this bracelet. This feels like a metal bead. Those are some dyed howlite beads. Again, a uh, nice stretch to it. Uh, great wearable piece. There's um, this. This is a magnetic choker, I guess you'd say. Um, I think it's substantial enough to be a statement piece in itself, though I suppose you could put a some kind of a pendant on it if you really wanted to. I'm going to just uh, 
take it apart and lay it down here. Um, here is a brass, I guess, bracelet. Brass and copper, perhaps. Those ones, this one here looks more coppery, and so does that one. Um, oh, it's not going to fit on my wrist. So a small bracelet. Um, in good shape. It wouldn't take much to shine that up, and uh, it would be wearable. First, I, I've been do, trying to do some shining. You can see I have the black on my fingers. Um, I should have. But uh, I'm sure that this would shine up nicely. Yeah. Just a little polish like that. Look how it's already shining. So uh, that's much shinier than the other side. So two nice bracelets. One a little nicer than the other. And then here's another brass bracelet. Just uh, some hammered brass. It's got, oh, it's got some letters. M Z I or I I think that's an M. It's kind of hard to see. If I put my hand behind it maybe. M Z or well, maybe M Z J. So I don't know uh, I I guess I could try looking that up and see if it belongs to a particular Manufacturer. There we are, back in focus again. MZJ. Interesting. What else have we got here? Oh, a lovely little butterfly pin. I have a few of these. I'll add it to my collection. A little tiny one, but it's intact. It's got both the antenna. Often when you see these, they're missing the antenna. So uh, that one's all intact. Nice little C clasp. Very pretty. Um, what's this? Oh, this is kind of cool. Sort of a brush gold. Well, it's bracelet with a little lobster claw clasp. And nice soft pink. And, well, I guess those are baby pink or beige. Beads. Very nice. Another nice bracelet. What else can I pull out of the pile here? So, oh, not not. This is definitely not a bracelet. Let's see what's going on here. It looks like Oh, maybe I'm just making a tangle worse. Sorry about that, people. Um, I'll try to get this done. Undone is oh, there we go. Okay, so this is very long. This is let's see, nine and uh, eighteen times four, thirty-six, seventy-two. This is no, it can't be. Yeah, well, it could be 50 or so. I, I, I don't have a measuring tape here, so I have to guesstimate. Um, this is a very nice gold tone chain. It, it could use a little wash, maybe a little shine. To some of the gold balls with these very interesting stations with the texturing on them and the balls. Oh, and there is a clasp, so you could double it up. Very easily to wear, though it would slip over most heads twice. So I guess you could wind it around three times if you really wanted to. That's very pretty, very nice. Okay, what's this? I thought this was like some side of a a metal monster, but actually it's um oh it's a cross made out of. Um, some alu aluminum maybe, square nails, and then it's glued together. It's not a real, they're not real steel, 
square nails. You can kind of see the glue holding it in place, but um, eh, has attractive to a certain uh, population, I guess. So a little religious piece. Got this big stone. Now this is the different, I mean, look at the difference. In stones, this is how this is dyed halite. I'd want to say this is dyed halite, but I don't think it is. But the only other thing that I know of that's this nice, that's close to this, is white buffalo, and I don't know enough to know if this is white buffalo. Certainly, this is handmade. There's a piece of moss agate. Right there, sort of see the inclusions in the agate. I don't know if I zoom in if you can or not. Yeah, see the moss agate there? Whoops. And what else have we got on here? Some nice crystal beads. This is, I mean, somebody's made this. I don't think those are silver on this little cotton cord. I mean, stranger things have happened. Let's see if I can get this untangled here. There we go. Okay. So it's Quite long. This is very heavy in comparison to whatever, whatever else is on here. I, I don't think it's really appropriate. Where's my magnet? I'll check out these. There's no attraction to the magnet. They still could be aluminum. Hmm. Just to show you that the magnet really works. Look how quickly that picks up. So um, this is uh, a conundrum. It's a beautiful piece of stone and it doesn't look reconstituted and dyed. It looks pretty natural. So I'll, that's, that's worth researching, certainly worth repurposing. Here's something that, these are all acrylic, they're substantial, and uh, a nice tassel necklace, uh, very shiny, looks like it's never been worn, that's definitely giftable to the long-term care gift shop, that would be a great one to gift. What else have we got? Oh, some a glass pendant. I don't know if this started life on this or not. This is a a glass heart pendant with a gold tone or coppery bail, and a, not a very substantial one because you can just pull it apart. So this would be very easy to loot. Very easy to lose, and it's on a, a cloth with silver tone things. I don't think these two go together, but um, definitely worth putting a better quality pendant on there. Something that where you're not going to lose the the glass heart. What else have we got here? Well, this is interesting. A couple of fish, sort of. Um, there's a little something on the back. I don't know if it's got a name or not. Okay, so I have to admit I cannot read that. I know I'm not sure it's meant to be read, but there are letters in there of some sort. Um, 
If you recognize it, let me know. I don't know. The two fish on a... I think it's a rubber cord. I don't... It kind of feels like leather, but like manufactured leather, maybe? This is nice. Look at this. It's a lobster claw clasp. And it's got some letters on it. It's not the right shape for Avon, so... Okay, so the letters say... W-J-M. You can see that. Um, I'll have to look that one up and report back to you. This is, look, it's got some interesting stations. Oh, how come it's not focusing? There we go. It's got some interesting stations. And it's a nice smooth and nice weight. Nice barrel clasp. So there, that's actually a nice little chain or necklace. Here's something else on, this is on cloth. Or cloth, I think this is cloth pretending to be suede. Oh, look, you can see through it. This is nice. Well, that's kind of a pretty little pendant that you can see through. I like that. It's got some, some sparkly, it's got four rhinestones. One, two, three, four. Feels like glass. I can see my finger up in the pine. Well, that's kind of nice. I would put it on something better. And it's not marked. Okay, here's a single bead. I'm not sure what it goes with. Here is, this is, I've never had, here's one more. Like really, three finials <laughs> in a jewelry jar. This one says, made in Hong Kong. Does that make it vintage? It's got a nice, I mean, a nice, I mean a, somebody's lamp is missing. Somebody's lamps are missing their finials. Oh well, who knows? They might come in handy someday. Here's, uh, well that feels like real glass. It feels like it could almost even be a real Gemstone, look at how wonky it is. Could that be a garnet? It's definitely cold. And so are these, but they f look more like glass. They don't look like any stone that I know of, though I suppose, what's it called? Carnelian? Poor quality, that carly or lower quality, not clear carnelian, maybe? And then these are little seed beads, little metal. That's interesting, I've never seen anything like quite like that. So that's, that's, I've never had a um, jewelry jar with this many sort of mystery stones in it. I wonder if this is sort of, if you can see through it. Put the light, no, not really. But it, it looks very dark there, and it looks reddish, and like, oh, you can see through it a little bit. I don't know if I can I'd have to get the light right in behind it there, maybe. Sort of see the transparency. Interesting. You're going to say that crazy lady moving the light every which way, practically blinding her audience. I like the jewelry. I didn't say I was an expert at uh, making the videos. What is this? By Isabel Arsenault. I can know how to pronounce that because I know somebody with that last name, Arsenault. That's a sort of a French pronunciation. And this is, says... Friction, and then there's something way down here. I don't know. So there's a really long thing, and then these are mm, 
This is like a, it's not, I don't think it's leather, but they kind of slide and can be spaced and. I don't think it's meant to all go down to the bottom, is it? That would look kind of weird. But they are, they do, they are the sort of same things, but spread out on each side. So there is a center. Pat's breaking the jewelry here. So I don't know. You kind of got to make up your mind of how you're going to deal with this one. I don't know what I would do with it. Some nice chain. I'd take the chain off. I probably could do something with these sliders. I don't know. Got any ideas? What do you think, ladies? Oh, and gentlemen. Well, this is different. Look at this. It's a little... Somehow it's transparent, but not. See how that... The light is shining in it, but the back is solid. And the back is engraved. Let's see if we can read it. New Life UR76. Thank you. Was that like a 76? Is that the year that this is from? Certainly, the, you know, it could be based on the, the chain and so on. I wonder how that. Like, it's almost like it's a, a glass or a resin in there. How does it manage to shine? Oh, yeah, it's attracted to the magnet. That's interesting. And once again, I've knocked my camera out of focus. I'm sorry, people. I apologize for that. I'm so interested in the jewelry. I'm not interested in... I'm not paying attention to what's happening with the camera. Look at how that... How can it be shiny like that? Maybe because it's thinner and then it, maybe it's thin enough that it's just reflecting off the, the, the metal in the back. That's pretty cool. An illusion. Oh, some rings. Look at this. Oh, it's missing its doohickey. It says something. All right, just a second. This one is a little dirty. It's Got all its rhinestones. It's very tiny. It's not, oh, yeah, look. But it's got the, they're all cut out in the back so that the light can show through. But you can see it's pretty coppery. Been worn enough. Somebody obviously loved this. So there's a nice one. This one, missing its stone. I'm going to put it up to my eye to see if I can read it first. Copyright. It looks like something 94. I have no idea. Let's see if I can zoom it in for you. Yeah, see that? That's oh my, you know what? I have it upside down. It would help if she showed it to us the right way up. So copyright. But I can't tell what the rest of that says. Maybe a 94, maybe not. I'm babbling. Okay, so it's a tiny little ring. Fits my pinky. Is it attracted to the magnet? I mean, I can't imagine they would make a gold ring this way. This one? Oh, it's bra. Maybe it's just copper under there. Well, I'll have to. There, I got lots of uh, lots of things to investigate. What else have we got? Here's a. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Leather type cord with a big clasp. You'd think the clasp was the the jewelry part. Maybe it is supposed to be. Because there's nothing on the cord. 
Okay. Half of a watch band. I wonder what kind of a watch went on that. That's not much use. That's about as useful as those finials are. Ooh, sparkly, shiny. I don't know if I can get the light on this the right way. So it's got kind of grayish rhinestones across the top. I've had one of these before with that line of grayish rhinestones and then the other ones were all baguettes along here. Oh, that's missing the baguette there. That's every... All right, well, we're missing one. They're kind of gray too. And then the rest of them are kind of not very good rhinestones. I guess this was a pretty collar or necklace for somebody. It was worn. It's much more worn than the other ones I've had, like this. Um, that's a pretty long baguette. I don't know if I could replace it, but I'm not sure the whole thing is of enough quality to bother replacing. Well, it's been over 25 minutes. I've probably been babbling a bit, and I still have a bunch of stuff that I haven't shown you. All of this over here. That's So, you know what? We're going to part four. Part four is going to be pretty short. I might have to edit a little bit out of this section because it's awfully long. Um, but we'll be back with part four of that great big jewelry jar. Bye for now. Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes.